Hello and welcome, it's Francis here. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I bid thee welcome. There's a subscribe button below if you want to support my work and also a bell if you want to be notified when I upload more content, which I seem to be doing quite regularly at the moment. And I'm coming to you from Ghana country, acknowledging the Ghana people of the Adelaide Plains as the traditional custodians of this land. And as such, I acknowledge their elders past, present, and emerging. I wanted to make a short video, actually I wanted to do a Facebook Live, but I can't seem to figure out how to do a Facebook Live on my surface. It's just, you know, it's not easy. So I'm doing this and then I'll post it. I wanted to do it today because it is the 8th of the 8th and depending on what communities you associate in you may have been hearing about the Lionsgate portal and that even though I've done a video on this last year I think it coincided with the new moon last year and I will link it somewhere and um, if you haven't seen it I'll go into a little bit more depth about it I just wanted to again touch base and explain a little bit about it I honestly don't know much about it myself I haven't really been paying a lot of attention to it. However, in the last couple of years, it's been coming into my sort of energy in relation to the people that I have been associating with. However, for me personally, the jury is still out, so to speak, as to whether it is new age cycle babble or whether there is something actually in it. I don't know myself. I'm leaving it open. Um, I can see pros and cons on both sides. So this is just a little bit of information that I thought I would share. So what is the Lionsgate portal? It's basically when the sun, the earth, Sirius, all come into alignment over Egypt on the Gaza Plateau in relation to the pyramids. Now, this usually happens between, say, around about the 25th or 26th of July and through to the 12th of August. Those are the dates for this year. I think they do change a little bit. Why it's the 8th, which is the actual portal, I don't really know myself, but there could be a numerological answer to that, which I'll talk about in a moment. So we've got the Earth, Sun, Sirius. Sirius is a star that's in the constellation known as Orion's Belt. And if you know anything about ancient Egypt, the pyramids in particular on Gaza Plateau or Gaza, Gaza Plateau, are in line with Sirius. And I won't go into the associations in relation to that belief. There's a whole lot of worm tunnels that you can really fall down. So there seems to be a uh, assumption and understanding concept that because the ancient Egyptians lined their pyramids with Sirius, um, that of course its rising had various levels of importance, shall we say. Not only because it's one of these stars, especially in Egypt, where it actually disappears, like it goes below the horizon at certain times of the year, which means it comes into the our southern hemisphere. And I haven't gone back and found out when that actually occurs, when it actually appears in the southern hemisphere. But when it arises again, and there is a particular term for it, helical, helical, rising, something like that. A number of things happen, and in particular back in ancient Egypt, it coincided with the flooding of the Nile. This is before the Aswan Dam occurred and was built. So there was this sort of link, whether it was um, directly connected or just in a coincidence. Um, who knows? I'm not going to say there's plenty of rabbit holes you can fall down. We'll just say it coincided with the flooding or the undulation of the Nile. And because that meant that all the fertile silt came up and so the, the Egyptians could actually plant their crops. So it was a very sort of a bountiful time. This year, 
around the 8th of the 8th, we will be, it will be a waxing gibbous moon in the astrological sign of uh, Sagittarius, coming up to a full moon on the 12th, which will be in Aquarius. Whether that means anything, who knows. So it is believed, depending on which circle of people you, you associate with, that when the sun enters its home sign, which it is in Leo, then that sort of intensifies things. So we've got the sun in Leo. Then we also have Sirius in alignment with the earth. And between all of these aspects, the energy can get very intense. And it is said by the experts in this area that this energy can actually change not only our perspective and our awareness of things, but also our awareness of the world in general and our place in the world, shall be the same. So breaking that down a little bit, Leo, with the sun being in Leo, it's all about the heart, but also I am me, um, the individual. So it's a connecting into our heart center, into Anahata, and also from there, our passions and when we're passionate about something, we usually have our heart beating, etc. That sort of drive and passion. Leo is also about um, going hard or going home, sort of thing. It is attitude. It's so that sort of attitude. They're very forceful, very determined when they want something, when they want to bring something into their life. They are rulers of their own jungle, so to speak, or their own universe. And they seem to be very self, not so self-absorbed, but aware of their presence and what they want, very determined. That's a very generalization of Leo. So during the Lionsgate portal, we can feel this sort of awareness beginning to arise, not only as to where we are and what we're wanting to head into, but also our connection in the planet. And depending on how sensitive you are to energies, and we're going through or gone through a lot of energetic change over the last couple of years, more to have come, it can actually heighten anxiety. You may have been feeling very overwhelmed restless even and is it if this is not a common state for you this may actually have started say around about the 25th when this portal was opening and it is said that after the 12th of august when the portal closes you will actually move more into a powerful place with more profound purpose, having moved through with that anxiety, overwhelmed restlessness. Or we can hope so, anyway. As I said, it happens on the 8th of the 8th. In numerology, in numerology the 8th is the number of power. It's the number of also of harmony, of infinity, confidence, passion, resilience, all that you can harness. I see it also as a double-edged sword because, especially with power, there's the flip side without getting too egocentric and too self-absorbed in the I am, this is mine sort of thing, the greed aspect to it. That's the more negative side of, of the eight. The power hungry and do whatever you want to do regardless of anybody else. So with power, comes great responsibility where we often don't see that these days which is very disappointing when we get two eights eight of the eight or the double eight this is sort of moving a little bit more into change accepting the, the necessity of endings that need to be made in order for you to sort of receive new opportunities or energies or potentialities that are coming in your way. And I find that quite interesting because the last 
God, two and a half years. I've been talking about it forever, it seems. What we've been going through cosmically with the, in, with the planets and different alignments has all been about release, 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 let go, let go. What no longer serves you, turn around, face forward, stop looking back, get rid of all that rubbish, especially now as we're in the axis of the Taurus and Scorpio north and south nodes. So quite interesting. And I do find the stuff interesting. I don't know, as I said, whether it's new age cycle babble, whether there is some truth in it. I'm sort of sitting on the fence. I sort of think that there is a little bit. But if it's all about the heart and opening our heart center and becoming more aware, a little bit more compassionate, a little bit more sort of resilience, helping others to find that resilience. I honestly can't see what's wrong with that. We move a little bit out of our head space, a little bit more out of our ego, our masculinity, more into our heart, more into that sort of feminine, nurturing, caring energy. I honestly can't see what's wrong with that. So if you believe in the Lionsgate portal, if you are connected with that energy, the 12th is coming up. So hang on, things will sort of clear. If you think it's all cycle, psycho babble, okay, fair enough. It's just another day in the calendar. So I hope that shares a little bit of information, um, especially for those who don't know anything about it. If, however, you are a person who has investigated it, a great deal please leave some comments below because i personally would like to know a little bit more about this lionscape portal as i said it's beginning to come more and more into my radar with the, the sort of the people that i am sort of following these days compared with what i had known in the past so i hope you are well do take care of yourselves and blessings